It's a weird wooden door. It has lived a long time in the forest. A little boy found it one day. The more he stared at the wooden door, the more fascinated he became. It wasn't until his parents arrived that they interrupted him. Woman named Evelyn. She looked around the door for a long time. It just so happens that the husband is a carpenter. To save money, they shipped the wooden door to the home, then painted it with red paint. Soon, that's it for the warehouse door. What they don't know, nightmares will follow. This is their new home. Evelyn specially recruited a local fortune teller. Master says her husband is promising. Make a lot of money in the future. Evelyn is happy, but when the master counts her, the expression becomes more serious. The master said that if she encounter a door, must be careful, because no one knows what's behind that door. Half the talk. Husband comes back with baby. Husband has always been disgusted with fortune tellers. He told Evelyn not to believe it easily. In desperation, Evelyn had to ask the master to come back next week. At night, the wooden door made a strange noise. Evelyn curiously stepped forward to check, then shut the door tightly. But soon, the wooden door opened slowly. The next day, Evelyn got a coat in the warehouse. She reached into her pocket and felt something was wrong. Take it out and see that it's full of cuteness. She quickly took off her coat. Why did maggots start growing on her clothes in one night? Afterwards, she told her husband that it must have been her son. Candy watching the husband don't care about it at all. Evelyn had to go to her son to find out, but she just went out. She saw a girl in white appear in front of her. She was frightened. Turn on the hallway lights. It was her own son. Son says he can't sleep. He has nightmares when he closes his eyes. Evelyn asked him what he was dreaming about. The son said that there is a monster who has been trying to catch him. In desperation, she had to comfort her son to sleep first. At this time, a pair of black hands stretched out from behind the wooden door, slowly approaching her. Looking at sleeping son, Evelyn is relieved, then left the room and closed the warehouse door. The next morning, the master rushed over anxiously. He said the house was in serious trouble. There's a good chance there's a powerful evil spirit living there. Of course Evelyn doesn't believe it, but the master is sincere. Also said that it will not be stopped in time. The consequences will be very serious. Subsequently, the master first poured a bottle of white liquid on the windowsill. Light the candle again. Holding a cigar. Act like an exorcist. Subsequent release of large amounts of PM 2.5 in the house. Evelyn is sprinkling water behind the master. The master came to the corridor and was suddenly stunned. He stared at the red wooden door at a glance. He asked Evelyn where the door came from. Just then the lights in the house suddenly dimmed. When the master saw this, he began to swing the cigar vigorously. At this moment, he stared at the red wooden door of the corridor camera. The wooden door seems to sense hostility. Just turn off all the lights in the house. The master also became very dignified. He felt the horror of this wooden door. Afterwards, he asked Evelyn to tear down the wooden door as soon as possible. At night, a pair of big black hands stick out from behind the wooden door. There are a series of bizarre incidents in the house. Evelyn asks her husband to tear down the wooden door. But no matter what the husband does, can't unscrew the screws on the wooden door. Husband thinks master is a liar. Don't care what he says. On the second day, the two found that the red paint on the wooden door had all come off. They thought about it for a long time and didn't know why. Evelyn cleans up the red paint. What she doesn't know is, a girl in White. Staring at her in the dark, Evelyn remembered what the master said. She ran to the library to find out about paranormal events. Managers are very enthusiastic. Sure enough, she found out the missing person's case many years ago. All the missing are children, and the murderer has never been found. Evelyn finally realized the seriousness of the problem. She found one of the mothers who lost her daughter. Who knew that when the mother met? Just ask her if she took a door in the forest. Evelyn froze. This further confirms her conjecture. Mother told her her own daughter was taken taken by that door. Afterwards she burned the house with a fire. But only that door can't be burnt out. So she buried the wooden door dozens of meters underground. The key was also thrown into the sea by her. But the next day, the door appeared in the forest by itself. She had to use a chain to lock it firmly. Hearing this, Evelyn's face changed greatly. She asked what was behind the door. The mother's answer was, I don't know what it is. But it's a very... Thing. Evelyn got a text from her husband. Husband said to leave work early. Son has been taken home. Turn the lens. Son doing homework. The wooden door is slowly opening. Evelyn rushed home immediately upon seeing this, but still a step too late. She came home to find her son was missing. At this time, the wooden door threw a toy car from the gap. No matter how they look for, have no clue. Evelyn suddenly thought of the master. Perhaps the only way to save his son is to find him. When the master learned about this, 
He hurried over. He asked the two to immediately move the wooden door back to its original position, and then there will be a ceremony. Probably means to summon evil spirits to make a transaction. The two dare not neglect. Husband unloaded wooden door with hammer. Then the three came to the forest with a wooden door. The master first sprinkled a ring of salt around. Then the ground is filled with glasses with bells. All preparations are done. The master grabs the hands of the two, then close his eyes. Started to chant a mantra. Then the bell on the ground rang slowly. The master suddenly opened his eyes. The swaying chair suddenly stopped. Even the oil lamp. Spirit. Are you there? If the evil spirit is in the prosthetic hand, it will shake. Then the master told the evil spirit. The answer is to pat with a fake hand. If the answer is no, then shoot twice. The master asked, are you a benevolent spirit? The fake hand took two decisive shots. The master asked again, did you know that I'm going to save the kid you stole? Immediately patted the fake hand. Then the master asked the evil spirit to release the child. But the fake hand suddenly kept shooting. Obviously, the evil spirit is angry at this time. The prosthetic hand was smashed. Parents of little kids are nervous. The master signaled them not to be afraid. Says there are other ways. He got up, pulled out a small black speaker from the bag, then aimed at the air on the side. There was an evil spirit on the other side. He told the master. The child is in the darkest place. Then the purple oil lamp turned green. The master takes out a divination blackboard. Put the child's toy car on it. He wants to get the information of the evil spirits this way. But the power of this evil spirit is beyond the master's imagination. A human face stands out on the blackboard. Then the content of the blackboard was also replaced by the evil spirit. Master is angry. He solemnly told the two that this evil spirit was difficult to deal with. Just try it as a last resort. That's the evil spirit. The master goes to the oil lamp. He chanted a spell in silence. Then the body suddenly twisted. The evil spirit really responded. The master said with difficulty, I want to make a deal with the devil, and they will be satisfied with whatever the evil spirits want. After some conversation, the evil spirit really appeared. Three people and evil spirits sitting around the table. However, the condition of the evil spirits is that they install wooden doors in the town's elementary school. Let him capture more children's souls. The parents refused at first. The mother even threatened. If they don't let them go, they won't leave. Damod doesn't eat this at all. Said that if they didn't agree to him, the first to die was their son. To save their own children, they still agreed to the evil spirit's request. Then the witty evil spirit also took a pen and wrote a contract. The next day, the father remodeled the wooden door. Then followed the evil spirit's command. Pinned it in elementary school. Conceivable. How many children will be captured by evil spirits in the future? Even for his own children, it is unforgivable to do so. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this on Recap Next.